Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at some GameCube and Wii emulation on an iPad. Now this is absolutely amazing. Before we get started here, I do want to mention that this is the new 2020 iPad 11, but this will work on lower end devices, all the way down to the iPhone 6s. Your performance may vary depending on which device you have, but as long as you're running at least the iPhone 6s with iOS 12 all the way up to iOS 13.4.1, you can get this up and running with no jailbreak. This is not a jailbroken iPad here, and I'm actually running these games at 1440p. I have to say that this is the best performance that I've ever seen out of the Dolphin emulator on a mobile device. I'm definitely going to be showing some more games off in this video and my settings, but before we do that, I do want to move over to my PC and I'm going to give you a quick rundown on the installation. Now, this isn't a full installation tutorial, but all you really need to do is follow the README on the Alt Store website and you can get this up and running in no time. All right, to get these GameCube and Wii games up and running on your iPad or your iPhone, we're going to be using Dolphin iOS. All the information you need is on both of these websites that I'm about to show you and it's very easy to install. You're going to need an Apple device with at least an A9 processor. It also has to be running at least iOS 12.0 and it cannot go over 13.4.1. If you're any higher than this, it's not going to work. Now to install this, you'll use Alt Store. Really easy to use. All links will be in the description. You're going to download it for Mac OS if you have a MacBook or an iMac. And we also have a download for Windows. This is beta, but it does work. This is how I installed it on my iPad using Windows. So I've downloaded that one and then we'll just head over to the FAQ. And to install this, everything you need to know is listed right here. You just need to follow these instructions. You'll need the latest version of iTunes directly from Apple. You can't use the Microsoft Store version. You'll also need the latest version of iCloud directly from Apple. You cannot use the Microsoft version. So I've got those installed. I've just downloaded them from the links provided right here on the FAQ. I set up my iPad with iTunes. I set up iCloud with my iCloud account. And then I installed the alt server. You just set it up right here. And from your apps, you'll just launch the alt server. It's going to be listed down here. As you can see, you'll click on it. Highlight install alt store. Your iPad or iPhone will be connected right here. It'll show you what you have connected to the PC as long as it's set up correctly. You're going to click on that. It's going to prompt you to put in your iCloud and you're good to go. Alt Store will automatically install on your iPad or your iPhone. From there, you can actually just hop on your iPad, head over to the Dolphin iOS website, link for that's in the description, and download the newest version. It'll be listed here. It might be higher in the future. It's going to prompt you to install with Alt Store. Go ahead and click yes it's going to install Dolphin. It's really easy to set up. I mean, everything you need to know is in the FAQ right here on Alt Store's website. You can use an Xbox controller over Bluetooth. I'm going to go ahead and launch the Dolphin emulator. In order to get games installed, you'll just transfer them from your PC. You can do it right through iTunes. You hit the little plus symbol at the top, add the game. You can actually start playing from there. You can enable your controller from the controller settings and the Xbox controller was already set up out of the box. I didn't have to do any mapping. The only other setting that I changed with this emulator was under enhancements and I went to 1440p. So I've definitely brought the resolution up from the stock resolution and it works really well on this 11 inch 2020 iPad Pro. If you have a lower end device, you might not be able to upscale so much, but you'll still have a great experience playing GameCube and Wii games on your iOS device. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know I test this out on a lot of different ARM devices, but this is the best performer that I've ever seen, even over the new Snapdragon 865, which I recently tested with the Red Magic 5G and the Samsung Galaxy S20. And to tell you the truth, the Dolphin emulator on this specific unit here actually runs better than a lot of the low-cost x86 PCs that I've built recently. Now, this isn't a low-cost tablet whatsoever, but it's still amazing to see Wii and GameCube running at full speed at 1440p on an iPad. But now I think it's time to jump into some testing and show you how it really performs on this iPad at 1440p. And I will be testing some of the harder to emulate games with Dolphin. So first up, we have Godzilla Destroy All Monsters. If you take a look in the top right hand corner of the iPad screen, we do have the FPS listed. Keep in mind that all of these games are running at a rendering resolution of 1440p. I'm also using the Xbox One controller connected over Bluetooth, and I haven't had any issues running any of these games at 1440p. If I did, I would just drop it down a little bit, and I'm sure it would run at full speed. Like I mentioned, I did throw some harder to emulate games in here, like Automotalista and F-Zero GX. 
Speaking of that, here it is, and we're running at full speed 1440p. I have personally never found a portable Android device that runs this game at full speed with the Dolphin emulator. Even using the Snapdragon 865, it's around 45 FPS. Here, 1440p, constant 60. So I'm just going to go ahead and let a few more games play out. Usually when I do an emulation video like this, I have to explain a few things, but everything's been running at full speed. The name of the game will be listed in the bottom left-hand corner, and I'm going to be back at the very end just to give you my thoughts on this. So in the end, I'm thoroughly impressed with the performance of this emulator on the iPad. Now I know this is a high-end iPad, but the developers have done an amazing job. And I'm willing to bet that even on the 10.2 inch, you could run most of these at full speed, 720p and 1080 with no trouble at all. Recently I posted a video showing off some other emulators running like RetroArch with N64, PS1, and even PSP. I was actually in the middle of making a tutorial video on showing you how to get RetroArch and PSP installed using the Alt Store, but then I got a notification from a subscriber about this and I kind of just scrapped that because I want to throw this into that tutorial. So I will have one coming up very soon showing you how to install RetroArch, PSP, and even the Dolphin emulator. But if you're able to get the Alt Store up and running on your iOS device and get Dolphin installed, you you can install RetroArch easily and PPSSPP. You just need to find the IPA online. RetroArch has theirs on their website and I believe PPSSPP has theirs over there. So it'd be pretty easy to install those also. 
But this video was all about the Dolphin emulator running on the 2020 11-inch iPad Pro. This is absolutely the best performance that I've seen using the Dolphin emulator on any ARM-powered device. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. If there's anything else you want to see running in the Dolphin emulator on this iPad, just let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the links in the description if you want to get this up and running on your device. I'm going to leave a link to the Alt Store website and the Dolphin iOS website. But like always, thanks for watching.